Identifying resonance structures. In this problem it says which of the following is the correct Lewis dot structure for O3. So O3 or what they call the ozone is uh, is, a, is one that is a molecule that we can't represent really by drawing just one Lewis structure. Because of the information that we know about the bond lengths of oxygen to oxygen bonds, we notice that they're the same. So we have to actually draw multiple Lewis dot structures to represent the ozone molecule. It doesn't mean that that bond actually exists as two separate resonance structures, but rather a composite or some a hybrid of the two so it comes together as a hybrid of the two or three so uh, for example s s o2 actually has three resonance structures and resonance structure just means one or two one of two or more lewis structures for a single molecule that represents the ac represents the structure more accurately than just drawing one and, a, and resonance itself means use of two or more Lewis structures to represent a particular molecule. So O3 is one of those molecules. As we can see, O3 actually has a Lewis dot structure like this. One, I'm going to draw with two double bonds like this. And I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one is one, two. So this is one of the resonance structures. But based on what we know, we have to draw another one to show the to show exactly what O3 is actually like. So we have to draw the other one, and usually that's drawn with an arrow like this representing that it can go back and forth from this structure that's uh, that it's a resonance structure so what we're gonna do is draw the other side so this is gonna be a uh, one two three four five six so this side now has the, du the single bond and this side has the double bond so notice that the double bond is mo has moved to the other side of the oxygen. So in resonance structures, usually the double or triple bond changes position based on, based on what we know of the Lewis structure. So we have to find one of these answers here that actually shows and represents O3 accurately because it's a resonance structure. So we have to find one that shows more than one Lewis structure. So A shows a Lewis structure that is a correct Lewis structure but it's not the right it doesn't show the resonance structure so that means a even though it's correctly written and it matches what we have over here is not what we're looking for B also one of is is not correct here notice that a this one has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten electrons around this one so B is wrong because the structure is wrong and E is wrong because we would need another, a double bond here to actually satisfy the octet rule for oxygen in the middle. So D is wrong. But we can see quickly from the beginning that C and D are probably going to be our answers because we're looking for resonance structures. Structures that have two, two or more Lewis structures. Um, so let's take a look at D. D has the same wrong Lewis dot structure as E right here in this part of it. But it does have the correct one on here, on this side. So D is wrong because this Lewis dot structure here, even though it shows the arrow going back and forth, is wrong. So D is not the answer. So it's obvious that C is our answer. And we can see that it matches what we have drawn up here. It matches that it has a double bond on one side, and then it switches to the other side to accurately represent the structure of O3 molecule. So remember that resonance structures are two or more, uh, one of two or more Lewis structures for a single molecule that cannot be represented just by one Lewis structure.